when we got him, he was a little bit tricky and I think he knows he's kind of a little bit different to the other horses. Just a real, a real turnaround story. He just, he just, he just runs like a train. The biggest kick out really is buying him for 6,000. and turning him into a good one horse. My name is Dennis Hogan. Um, I'm a dual purpose trainer in North Tipperary. It's a Godolphin dispersal sale. We we always target them sales, and for our owners, it's it's bargain basement, and we're able to buy them. And um, they have pedigrees. A lot of them have issues and might need a bit of time, but we don't mind doing that. You just take a chance on what you can think, what you can resolve, and some horses just need a bit of time. And our training regime suits them horses because we have the space to give them time, and we train a bit different than some of the bigger training facilities that we have. Paddocks to get them out regularly and train some out full time. I just picked him out. He was unraced, and I really loved his pedigree. And I really like his sire. For us to get an invincible spirit into the yard, it's like we're not able to buy them as yearlings, so obviously it's second-hand goods from, from Godolphin, but at the same time, we've had a lot of luck with the sire. It's just been able to get hold of them. Um, he, is, he is the real deal as a sire. When we got him, he was he was a little bit tricky and he, he has had issues with the stalls in the past. And uh, veering very badly at the start. And a long last already is make a challenge. Very slow to go, make a challenge. Dropping behind in the early stages. He started to back up going in and not wanting to go in and he failed to load last spring on two occasions. One race, just before we bought into him, he refused to kind of leave until everyone else was 20 lengths ahead. He lost at least 40 lengths uh, in the stalls in a six furlong race and led at the furlong pole. He showed me enough pace that day to say, if we sort out the stalls, we can go back and be very well handicapped at six, seven furlongs. Um, so his next run was over seven in Fairy House and he bolted up. To be honest, it all happened very quick because he had spiralled from winning two handicaps in Galway over seven furlongs to winning over six at the Cora, getting beat in Champions Weekend over six. And then he won the Joe McGrath over five, and he won the Listed over five. And he was so impressive in the Listed, we, we felt we had to supplement him for the Group One the following week. We, we all dream of it when we're kids, you know, and, and to come here and, and be here on the day in a Group One with a chance is massive and uh, it's, it's fair play to the owners and Dennis and everybody for making it all happen. You know, just showing up today is a win for us. Like, it's just, it proves that he is, he is a good horse, he has it in him. I don't care if he finishes last. It's a, an achievement, a major achievement to be here and running in a Group 1 race. To be honest, a lot of people ask me about the pressure, but are nerves and that, but look at he's done the winning. He's, he's got himself here. He's paid for his own supplementary by far. Whatever he does today is a bonus, but I am expecting a big run. He'll love conditions. And away they go. Sands of Marley pushed along into stride on the left alongside advertising the same ownership and so perfect handy over there. Hello Yumzane going forward on the far side. Make a challenge slightly apart from the others but burning down towards the centre. With Kate Byron and Cardamon make a challenge to the outside. They are chased then by the Tin Man and Dream of Dreams Forever in Dreams is angling out the grey. One master behind a wall of horses. Dong Arn triumphs and can't get through at all. Mans Cross out the back with also the Breeze of Breeze. Hello Yumzane. Just about the leader now as they race on to the final furlong. Taken on by Maker Challenge. Maker Challenge just about leads to Hello Yubze. Brando running home well with Forever in Dreams and out wide Don Juan. And one master with a late challenge too as they race out towards the line. Don Juan triumphant on the near side getting up. Don Juan triumphant has slapped the world for one master. I couldn't ask for any more really. Look at him, ran his heart out. He was there to be shot at and Heavy ground, as you know, the last 100 yards in any sprint is, is crucial and, and look at he, he done us proud. We'll go to the programme now and sit down now that we have a Group 1 horse. We'll be coming back here again and he'll be in all these group races going forward. Yeah, I thought even before coming here, if he finishes top five, that's it. It's a win for us. He's definitely a grade one horse. He deserves to be here any day of the week. It's fantastic. A win would have been a bonus, but this, this, is, this is all we wanted. Like Even getting here was enough. To, and to finish fifth is spectacular.
started back early December with a view to maybe going foreign in, in February or March. Um, he holds entries in Saudi, Doha, Dubai. We're still not sure where he's going to go. We're actually, we might favour Doha at the minute because it's five furlongs where the Saudi races are six and three quarters and I just think that could stretch him a bit. Thank you.